Hello and welcome to literally one of the coldest weeks I've ever had at the University of Chicago. Look at this icicle hanging from the sink. Someone left the window open overnight and when I went in in the morning it just it was frozen in there and I was scared the pipes would burst. And then I got ready for the day so I made my bed and I got dressed, did my hair, did my makeup, flat ironed my bangs, and then I also did check the bathroom again to see if the pipes had burst. They did not. Icicles melted once it started warming up in there so all was well. Also by the way it was MLK day so I didn't have any classes on this particular Monday. And my hands are so dry and I've been putting on lotion, but it's not really doing much things, just the weather. Um, I've put my hair for now in, in this. Um, if it gets frizzy because of the dry weather again, we might have to abort this mission, but I'm going to try to leave it down today. So all I need to do now is brush my teeth and then I'm gonna get started on work. And I do work as like an editorial writer for the college news website for UChicago. I collaborated on one piece last quarter and then I published at the end of last quarter my own solo piece. Now this quarter I have a new kind of piece that I'm working on. So I'm interviewing two people today and I need to get ready for that. Okay, just a quick update. I am getting all my things together. I had my interview and it went really well, so I'm really excited to start working on that piece a little bit more. I'm now going to be leaving in just a minute or so to go meet Karina and we're going to go to the Art Institute. And so this is why I am dressed really warm. Hopefully it'll be warm enough. We're gonna take public transportation to get there um, and I think we'll take a Lyft or an Uber back because it'll be cooler at that point, but I have mittens packed too and everything, so I don't think it'll be too bad. It's only gonna be like a 15 minute walk total, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, I'm recording really quickly because my hand's gonna freeze. We're out here and it's so cold. It's better than last night. It's only like, what, negative 15 now, I feel like. We're sprinting though to catch the 1.33 p.m. bus. <laughs> We're back on campus, so we're saying goodbye for the night, but we're going to see each other later in the week and do fun stuff, which I will show later in the week. Bye! <laughs> Bye! I'm walking back from Karina's and my hands are numb, so I can't talk long. But if I try to yawn, I physically cannot. It makes me cough. The air entering my lungs, it's so cold. I began my Tuesday with going to the dining hall. There were some really nice looking blueberries here, so I got some of those and then also I put Greek yogurt on top. Also this weird scramble thing on the side, I don't know, it had like chickpeas and some vegetable, I don't even remember now. And then as I ate, I also read the Mayas, which I've finished at this point. It is so good, I would really recommend it. It's a Portuguese classic and although it does move slowly, it's just a really fascinating glimpse at Portugal uh, during the end of the 19th century.
so very cold right now. People are running to get from point A to point B. It's kind of funny. Oh my gosh, I'm so cold, so cold. It's going to just be me wearing a scarf and a hat saying it's so cold, it's so cold. So I'm going to a meeting tonight. I'm sitting in so that I can get a better idea of what I'm running about for my article for work. So that's what I have in an hour, but it's still half an hour. So I'm in Harper Library. I'll just study for a bit first. I know I partly didn't able to update today, but those heaters are so loud. I just got out of my three hour class which was my second and last class of the day. I'm really excited because wave two of Yale Law rejections went out today and I applied at the beginning and I dodged another rejection wave, which is still very far from getting it. But it's definitely giving me this hope, misplaced hope. I'm just so happy though I missed another rejection wave. I wasn't rejected. my room so much more when I've left before breakfast and I get back at night and it's so nice to be back after being out all day although it's a little bit cluttered so I am going to do a little bit of picking up see clutter right there um just to make it feel less stressful and that way I can get a tad bit more homework done before I go to bed probably do some dishes first to get my trash and then just organize and wipe down stuff in here got three readings to do by tomorrow. This is all for one class. Um, the first is the Balfour Biological Laboratory for Women at Cambridge University. And then the next reading is Woman and the Culture of University Physics in Late 19th Century Cambridge. Okay, I'm beginning to see a theme here. And then the last one is Obligatory Amateurs, Annie Maunder, and British Women Astronomers at the Dawn of Professional Astronomy. I'm gonna start off with the longest one, which is 34 pages. Then I'll read the 24 page one and then I'll read the 18 page one so that it gets shorter and shorter as I go. So I'm about to do a sit down video for YouTube. So I'm going to show you what I do. I've got the phone on a little tripod stand right now. It's really not fancy. I haven't spent any money on a camera just because my phone works. Um, a camera would definitely, a real camera is definitely nicer, but I just do YouTube as like a pastime. So the investment in a camera just doesn't seem very practical for me. The hardest thing is always making sure that it's centered though. It looks best if I'm using the camera on the back of the phone, not the selfie camera, which means I can't see myself when I'm setting this up. So I have to kind of do it and check and make sure that I'm in the frame. So right here, it does not look like I am, so. That's probably better. So what I'm gonna be doing is a video reviewing all the dining halls here at East Chicago. Also, last time I did this in this room, the entire thing filmed and it was focused on the background instead of on me, which it made me look blurry. It better not happen again this time. <laughs> okay, I've just finished recording and my voice, whenever I do this, I always just, I sound so raspy whenever I'm done just for speaking. I think it was 30 minutes this one, I'll have to check. The video is not blurred, so that's a success. Also, I never showed the tripod, here's the tripod. So now in eight minutes, I have a Zoom call, I'm gonna catch up with my cousin. And then after that, I've got my call with my Ukrainian student, who I've been teaching for over a year now, I think, just teaching her English. So I just finished up my call with my Ukrainian students. Now I'm going to head over to the dining hall for lunch. And then after that, I'm going to go to class. It's so warm today. It's two degrees. It's actually above zero. I mean, it's, I'm kidding. It's actually still very cold. And just to clarify, the real fuel is two. It's actually 17. It's just like with the wind, it's two. Bonjour. 
So tonight I went to a meeting for the Ryerson Astronomical Society, which I haven't actually been to any of those meetings yet this year because last quarter it coincided with another event that I had going on, so I wasn't able to make any of the events. And then I had to dash back here to attend a, um, a panel on pro bono law stuff. And then now, um, those readings that I had shown earlier that I'm going to do, I ended up getting done like one page of it, literally, because then I got to do another homework. So I need to get those readings done, they're due tomorrow morning, and I'm going to just get them all done right now. I'll put it in time lapse. I always like it when it's daylight so you can like see the sunbeam moving during a time lapse. Unfortunately, we don't have that right now. Also, fun fact, the last time that I tried doing a time lapse while sitting here at this desk, I accidentally had it in slow motion the entire time and I left it running for a long time. So I went back to look at it and I was like, what the heck? It was literally a 90 minute video. <laughs> finished the readings and I also did some French quizzes, one of which I did terribly on. It was so bad. And now I'm doing a French like mini essay thing. I'm gonna write just a few more sentences then I'm gonna go shower because it is 10.30. So I will stop recording um, and I will see you Thursday or rather a uh, jeudi. <laughs> Thursday began super early because I went to my classroom far before when I actually needed to be there, but I do like to get there early just so I can get things done. And then after that, I went to the reg. I always go up to one of the upper floors just because it tends to be a little bit quieter. I am always so hard pressed to find a seat though nowadays. Like once you're in the middle of the quarter or later, it's just impossible to find a seat past noon usually. And then after that, I went to lunch really briefly. As you can see, it was absolutely packed. At this time of day, Bartlett is a zoo. And then, super thrilling, I went back to the rug after that to get some more work done before I needed to get to class. I also had to print up a paper that I needed to turn in for one of my classes. It's a mini essay in French. It wasn't anything hard, obviously. Just like, how are you? My name is so-and-so. I am X years old. And then I went to one of my three hour workshops. This room. Kind of crazy. Somewhere else. This class is a technical seminar and it's it's more geared towards reading than writing. Uh, so it's been really fun. We've been doing a lot of short stories and you can see on the chalkboard right here, we did a little timeline of Faulkner's story, A Rose for Emily. And then I went to Kathy to meet up for supper with Karina. Hi, let's have um, one sweet potato, some of the veggies and the protein, please. I always prefer when it's self-serve because then I can get the proper ratios that I want. Uh, it wasn't tonight, but anyway, we got our food and then we chatted for a while. Karina had a really good story to tell, so we hung up for a bit and then she went back to her place because it was her roommate's birthday. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Go! <laughs> yes! We're going to Midway Mart. Yes! <laughs> I want her to lead. <laughs> Subscribe! No! Do you have blood on your phone? Yeah, I do have blood on my shoe. My um, fingers are bleeding because of the dry weather. I should just be trying. This is so bad. They have no vegetarian options except for burgers. Literally, it's all... Let's just leave. I'm sorry. I'm wasting your whole night. I could get yogurt. I do like hummus, but like they're all like little snack packs. You know, like I want like the. This way is colder. Let's go this way. I didn't even realize it's going to be really cold again today. Like when I was getting dressed, I didn't even look at the weather. It's apparently 11 degrees right now, but the real feel is negative five. So we're back to the sub-zero temperatures. Finally, Friday. I very stupidly wore flats to go to breakfast and we got snow overnight, so I had to hop in the tracks of other people to avoid getting snow down my shoes. 
Afterwards, I went to Mansueto and it literally looked like a frozen over globe, as though it were in the Arctic or something. So you can see all of the snow on the roof here. I went and found a seat on the left hand side, um, right next to the windows, as close as possible, which you can really only do if you arrive in the morning. If you arrive in the middle of the day, those tables are all taken. I watched one of the French videos. We get these videos multiple times a week and they're just like, 35 minutes going over the vocabulary, the grammatical structures, and I took notes on this as well. Maple Market with Korea, there's no vegetarian options. And when I went to Bart Mart just a few minutes ago, there was finally two vegetarian options. One of them was macaroni and cheese, and the other was macaroni and cheese with kale. And there's only one left of the macaroni and cheese with kale, and I snapped it. For future dessert, a Twix ice cream bar. I've never had it before. Even though I have a massive tub of peanut butter that I still haven't finished, it's smooth. So I got some crunchy peanut butter because I like to shake things up, and I have bread a lot in the morning. Um, not toast because I don't have a toaster in my room. Oops. This is my next order of business. Oh, so the reason I've been wearing these off to the side is because they're really long. What better way to make a vlog interesting than to cut your hair in the middle of it? I've tried this before, but I was too scared to like actually really cut it. So let's go for it. We are going to do this in my closet because this is the best lighting. Now, the thing is that I have a cowlick on this side, so I have to be careful to not cut that too short. Now online says to cut like so. Oh gosh, <laughs> that looks like a big amount of hair. It's not perfect, but the important thing is that it is not in my eyes anymore. I am going to start working on some homework. It's funny because today is actually another three day, the start of another three day weekend. Professor was unable to make it to class today, so I have unexpectedly the day off from classes. It's a good chance to get things done because I feel like I'm a little bit behind, so I need to finish up editing a video for YouTube, and then I also need to start annotating and critiquing some of the workshop pieces for the workshops that are due next week. So I'm going to work on those for a little bit, just in my room here, um, nice and quiet workspace. Why is there fuzz floating through the air? Um, nice quiet workspace just to get things done. Uh, tonight I'm going to an open mic night. Anything that comes up, I will update you as I go along. So I have literally been working on this video all day, so I haven't gotten any homework done, but it's 3.17 p.m. I'm finally, finally exporting it. I love editing videos, but there's always that last sprint at the end when I've been editing for hours and hours where I'm just so done with the video and I just want it to be finished. It'll take a while for it to render between downloading it from the software program and then uploading it into YouTube. I've at least finished and I already finished making the thumbnail as well. The thumbnail also takes a while. So this is kind of the speed it goes at, just so you can see. This is a 12 and a half minute video. Oh, it looks very saturated right now. That looks weird. Okay, 36 minutes remaining estimated. Um, it could take longer or shorter than that. This actually doesn't take as long as it takes for it to just upload to YouTube. So um, right here, you can see the little bar is kind of going along. And just to kind of explain what this is, these are three audio things right here. Audio five is music that I put in. Audio 4 is like sound effects, audio 3 is the microphone audio I've added, and then we have the actual video footage right here, extra overlapping video footage of the dining halls and also text boxes. So that's what all of this kind of means. Listen to that, it is taking off like an airplane. <laughs> it's so loud. For one of my creative writing workshops next week, I have to have read an excerpt from If on a Winter's Night, A Traveler. We only need to have read an excerpt in theory, but I really don't like leaving books partially read. I will want to finish it, um, and I'm going to get started on that now because if I want to finish it, I need to get going. So the whole point 
of going to the open mic night was because I'm writing a work article and that was going to be something that I wanted to write about in the work article. But I stepped into that that location, Cobb Cafe. I felt like I was stepping into a social event in high school where I'm looking around and everyone is so relaxed and having a good time and like instantly I knew like it would be so awkward if I tried to hang out here. Um, I'm sure you can tell from the brief shaky footage like that is not a place you can just walk into solo. You have to go with a friend group kind of thing. So I did not sit and take notes like I thought I was going to but I did get like a quick photo or two in some clips. Okay I'm back in my room and the more I think about it the funnier it is that I thought it would just be acceptable for me to just find a seat in the back and sit and take notes. It's like a party in a way. I don't know why I kind of thought it would be a more formal everyone sits in this quiet and listens to the person kind of thing. I think I'm going to start with my thesis workshops. I have to annotate um, two pieces and then write critique letters, they're called for each of them. It's just basically a short essay on what is working well in the piece, what can be improved. I also have a presentation due soon for my thesis workshop, so I might kind of outline what I'm going to do for that. It's only a 15 minute one on a writer of our choice who kind of serves as inspiration for our own writing, I guess. So I'm doing Lisa C and that's what I'm going to work on tonight. So have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning and happy Saturday. You can see that it's still very dark out there, but it's starting to look like the sun is rising. This is the reality of bangs when I haven't done anything to my hair yet. Uh, but I woke up at 520 this morning because my mom has a flight, so I wanted to call her before her flight took off and now I'm just doing homework. So, um, getting some extra stuff done because I woke up early and this is a reading on actually the University of Chicago and it's about opportunities for women on the campus I believe. Um, I've just begun the reading. In the cold weather also my violin has been prone to getting out of tune so let's see. This is actually very exciting. Um, last couple times I practiced, I had to spend- oh no. I did not do anything! Did you see that? It's because I take it out of the case in the different temperatures. As I was saying, it takes me so long to tune it because the pegs have been slipping lately, so when I get it into the right spot, it just keeps undoing itself. This is supposed to be the highest note. <laughs> it sounds like the beginning of that song in Spongebob when Sandy sings. Wish I were back in Texas. <laughs> Good violinists just use these pegs. I also have the fine tuners at the bottom of the violin because I'm not a good violinist. No, the D one has been the hardest. So it's right now it's a G sharp and used to get up to a D. So if I twist it, well, it's actually first pushing the peg as much as we can. It's almost a D. And now it's flat again because the peg keeps rotating on its own. Okay, watch it. Watch it twist on its own. Did you see that? Did you see it move? Now I feel like that teacher in The Incredibles. When, right there, right as I'm sitting down. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Do you hear that vibrating? on my coat so that I could actually see it better. It did not work, so I ended up just having to tilt it on the piano table. Then I started my readings for one of my workshops, Observe the Lovely Reg Wi-Fi. The page simply did not load, so I took that as my cue to leave. Then I went to Hutch for the evening because it was Saturday night meal swipe and I ordered this poke bowl. So I usually do the same thing every single time. I am so terrible about not going out of my routine, but I just love it so much.
there's still many hours left in the day because it's only like 5.45 right now. So I'm going to work on next, I want to get my French homework done. So I have an oral comprehension and then some quizzes. Today I did get done an exercise for one of my creative writing workshops. I did both my history readings and I also did my response for the history readings. Um, I worked on my work article a little bit. I also got some of my presentation done for my thesis workshop. Ideally, I would like to scratch off three more things off my planner by the end of this evening. So here is my oral comprehension that I have to do for French. Basically, I have to listen to each segment and then there are questions to answer to check the comprehension. So here's the first one. Yeah, donc ceci, euh, je vais peut-être goûter les mini viennoiseries. Oui, ouais, je vais goûter les pains au raisin. Sunday began with a really beautiful sunrise. I love on the weekends, sorry. I just, I wear comfy clothing on the weekends and I look a little bit like garbage, but it's just so much better than having to get ready like I do the rest of the week. For breakfast, I had to have a bagel because as you can see, they only had bagels this morning, which is unusual. Typically there's more options like bread and English muffins. I also just wanted to show all the other stuff. They have cereals, a ton of different milks, pastries, uh, fruit, yogurt, and also toppings for the yogurt and oatmeal as well, which I didn't show. And then I cut my bagels. I like to, I, I kind of wonder if I am going to include this or not, because I'm really ousting myself. I like to cut my bagels rather than eating it as two thick parts. I like to eat it as four thin parts. So I cut each half in half. And then I went to the reg and I looked for an outlet. I really wanted to sit in this nice sunny area, but there was no outlet to charge my laptop. So I went and just found a seat in one of the cubicles instead. Although I did end up returning to a window area because I just, it was empty in the reg and it looked so cozy and I was dying to read by the big blue sky. thesis, I keep realizing there are more things that I need to research on. So I'm headed to different floors of the library to collect a bunch of books that I found on the library website. I'm now headed to the B level, which is the lowest level in the reg, and it's also the most fun because the book stacks move when you press a button. <laughs> These are all the books I've gotten so far. I was really glad that this area was empty while I was doing this because first of all, I had to do the force thing. You can't watch moving shelves and not do that. And then I tried to go in early. You can't do that. Apparently it stops because it doesn't want to crush you. <laughs> the economics book I tried to find right here ended up just being a ton of data, so I had to put that back. I want to show you my library haul. Okay, first we have the WCTU annual report. This is from 1929 and it's basically the meeting notes and agenda and all of that jazz from the Woman Christians Temperance Union. This is a group of women that oppose prohibition and it's their like meeting notes from the 20s. Book number two is a really long and articulate title, Maine. This I got because I needed kind of an overview of the Great Depression in Maine. I got this book called Old John Neptune. This is just the book I'm reading. I didn't get this from the library. Glue's Cap the Liar. This is another book of Native American stories and kind of like a literature repository from the Penobscot Native Americans. One Horse Farm. This is a book of poetry. This one's another one on Native American literature. And then the Penobscot Dance of Resistance. This is more of a historical overview, I think. And then Penobscot Man. This one I know less about. By the end of this school year, I'm gonna have so many library books sitting in my room. I can't do the French TR sound. Avec des tra trajets. Tra it's not trajet. It's not trajet. Tra 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 trajet. If you are learning French, I would really recommend this channel. It's just called Easy French and they do so many slow videos. Du pain, du campagne, 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 campagne. 
I don't know. I am staunchly forever and always a night shower. So part of my evening routine is just going and taking a warm shower where I can clean up and get ready for bed, feeling like the day is just washed off. My brush totally got tangled and broke off in my hair. I fixed it easily, I just had to pop it back in. But I thought that was funny because it really spoke to how tangled my hair was. And then I watched a bit of the newest episode of Percy Jackson and did some journaling to close out the evening. I tend to journal a couple times a week. I would like to journal more often, but sometimes I just feel like I have literally Really nothing to say but it's just it's a good way to unwind I think especially if I have a lot on my mind anyway this has been a full week in my life I tried to make it as realistic as possible hopefully it came across like that and it wasn't too long but thank you so much for watching I hope that it was enjoyable and have a wonderful rest of your week